Oh, he just went low. He's in his head. He's in his head. He's, He's open. His head wide open. Cracked open in the face. And welcome everyone, it's Mario Nintendo 100 back again with Mario Kart Wii for the Nintendo Wii. Uh, I like the little unique um, intros that we get. I think you have to win a certain amount of cups to get those as a bonus. Um, we're back again with Mario Kart Wii. Now, first things first. And yes, I'm playing with Wii World. Uh, not the Wii World, uh, just the Wii World right alone. Um, you will notice that um, by the time this probably goes out, um, I just beat a whole bunch, just did a whole bunch of recordings for Rocket League. Um, Rocket League is going to change. Um, so I played as Cooper Trooper and then we played as Mario last time. And I think Luigi was under him and I think we'll go with, uh, we'll go with Peach and come back with Luigi. Uh, so we've played with the standard cards, so we go with Nostalgia 1. Um, but Rocket League is now going to change. Uh, they're going into... Um, it's going to be in compilations, uh, like the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe um, Monday Upload videos. So first things first, we've got uh, N64 Sherbet Land. Um, don't know why that sound effect plays, it's very, very weird. It only happens on the, um, the fly through with the with the tracks, but um, yeah, obviously with Mario Kart, it's uh, it's not the only um, Sherbet Land in the series. Of course, Double Dash also had one as well. I don't know why they named it both the same. So yes, I am using the motion control. This is going to be very interesting. But uh, they're going to become compilations for Rocket League. Uh, I'm going to do the same amount of matches between... Uh, oh shit, I think I must have hit the wall then. Um, going to do like four matches per video, so of course they are longer videos, it's probably like 25-30 minute videos, but uh, I think it's it's better to do it in compilation like Mario Kart than, um, than have like, at some situations, going to have like a hundred um, videos of just one or possibly two matches uh, in them so I think the compilation will be better you get better gameplay out of that I think better results in that regard and it gets through a lot of the uh, the replay so I don't have to um, disable my autosave <laughs> again but yeah N64 uh, Sherbet Land it's a pretty cool track I will admit uh, of course the design didn't change too much. Now with the Wii Wheel specifically, we can't, I don't think we can hold on to items in this form. Oh, there's the sound effect again. I don't know why it plays that sound effect. But yes, we can drift with the, uh, the B button in the background. That's 
technically how you should be uh, drifting with this uh, controller setup because uh, the Wii wheel would have the B button exposed um, so you can use it with your left hand I am like right hand dominant compared to ambidextrous or left hand dominant so I usually just press the one button because it's also the brake as well I thought for these cups it wouldn't be too bad to have the motion control uh, with this one in particular. Of course when we get to the lightning cup then they probably won't uh a better controller type. Maybe maybe we might even get to the GameCube controller because I haven't done that one yet. Gotta watch the penguins here. <laughs> Why I went into the wall. <laughs> Don't know why I went into the wall there. But yeah, I love the music for this one because uh, Track by Snowland also has the same music um, from the same game. Uh, I think both both Frappace, uh, Frappace, uh, uh, Sherbet lands in uh, the series uh, are really good in their own ways. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe's version of the <laughs> Sherbet land from Double Dash, that's pretty damn good. So yeah, so Rocket League, uh, as of soon, I don't know whether or not, because I, I, I have some Mario Kart uh, 8 Deluxe replays, like, to, um, like, highlight videos to put up first so eventually I will say that I meant to say that last recording session for for Mario Kart Wayne I forgot so um we got that we have GBA Shy Guy Beach very much feels like something out of uh, Yoshi Yoshi's story and like Yoshi's Woolly World and stuff like that because it's, it's very much that like place playful style. One of my favorite tracks actually in the game to be honest. Um, like I have been screwed by the uh, the bombs that they get thrown in by the pirate ship before which sucks but uh, and, the, and the crabs as well but uh, I think that the design of the tracks pretty damn good. Like this section right here is like the hardest section of the track because you're trying to get as much speed through that section and you're going to find like the best shortcut possible to do that so yeah so you can take a shortcut there but uh, it will go a little bit slower. But yeah, you gotta be very careful, don't go in too far because you'll hit the uh, umbrella, which will stop you <laughs> as well. Yeah, so you can't hold on, I'll just press the button and you can't. Hold on to the. Well, I, I hit that last minute then. Tried to avoid. <laughs> That, uh, that power block actually saved me then. Yeah, watch the bomb, like, oof, literally like the last second that that bomb can come out of nowhere and, uh, and fuck you so bad. Because <laughs> I've been hit with that bomb before, like in the last lap, <laughs> and it has caused me to lose a race a few times. 
So as you can see my steering wheel up there, I have a steering wheel peripheral playing at the moment. So it'll give me the reticle for that. Oh, no, it's not the reticle. The uh, little icon for it. And then we have DS Delfino Square. Now, as one of the DS tracks that come back, I don't know why this one was so popular, because of course this was the game after DS, so like the four most popular tracks would have probably come into it if, because uh, DS I'm sure got four tracks I think in this game, because it was the newest Mario Kart at the time. I don't know why this track in particular got choice, because I mean, I like Delfino Square. I it, it's kind of it's kind of I like I kind of have like a love hate relationship with it because uh, for a while I didn't mind the track and then there was there was moments where I hate it. Um, but I like I, I have some respect for the track, of course. But uh, out of like the tracks from DS, I don't think this would have would have been one of my first ones that I would have picked for the track to come back. Like, I mean, I played this one a lot in DS, and partially that was because I kept screwing up the special cup, <laughs> to be fair, uh, in that game. <laughs> and if it was for, like, the the, um, the bridge section, like, there, towards the end, then okay, but, um, and hit it again. But, like, Is it right? <laughs> like the fucking Mario Kart Wii intro video all over again, but instead of Luigi getting blown up, it's Mario. <laughs> like, like I said, I don't mind Delfino Square. I never actually played Sunshine. I do have uh, 3D All Stars, so it'll be the first time I actually play uh, Sunshine, which I still haven't actually played that game yet. I do remember the uh, reversing challenge for uh, this one because it was Bowser and you had to reverse through gates and stuff like that. And that was pretty cool. That was a pretty cool mission because like, kind of you kind of have to um, to get the best time. You have to work on uh, how how you reckon the uh, turn radius will be when you're driving backwards because it's it's very much a different. Uh, different base um, when driving backwards because it can be a lot wider with the with the driving depending on how fast you're going and stuff. But the the, the faster uh, the faster speed like 150 or like 100 150 cc you will see that. These uh, track times will come down as well. I think I'll, like eventually I'll play like all four controller types. So like, I'll play GameCube and then probably just settle back into my nunchuck uh, Wii Remote combination again because that just seems to be my best uh, option. The double books, like the double barrel roll. <laughs> Sorry, a ruling roll. <laughs> That's the thing, yeah. <laughs> it's like one of those out there tracks and like out there trick combinations, like trick poses, but it just works in this game. It's like, yeah, that would make sense a little bit. Ooh, look at that like, slot between 50 and 60 there. That, that's pretty, pretty close. race and probably I would argue probably my favorite track uh, in this game GameCube Waluigi Stadium so yes it's not even a new track it's my favorite in this game it's an old track <laughs> it's not to say that the the new tracks in this game like like Coconut Mall and 
like that sort of thing are not great, but I, I love this track. I love the way that this track flows. And of course, come back in the Booster Course Pass, it was great to see it. I think this version is a little bit better. And I think it's just because of the, the music. The music, the, the remix in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is not the worst remix. It's not the best though. And this section is wide. Like this was a straight, a straight section uh, down the straight here, and it didn't have a lot going on. You had to avoid the piranha plants, of course. But what the trick system does in this game to change the dynamic of the track to make it that you can get a whole sense of speed and boost. Oh my god. Oh, okay, so someone in front of me would have had a power block then because I didn't get a power block in front of me on the, on the screen there. So it only affects, the power block only affects the people that are in front of them. So anybody that's behind can all ultimately catch up. So it'll affect everybody that's in front of the power block user, but everyone behind. And especially if it was like a team game, it would it would help the people that are behind. And ultimately you would have to avoid the, the, the pipes in uh, the original track, whereas the, like, the, the way that the nature works... Oh, I think that might have been my uh, banana peel there. I never seem to really take this corner anymore without doing the uh, half pipe uh, trick there. It seems like it's a very it's a very tight turn. It, it wasn't as tight in Double Dash, but it just seems to be because of the way that the engine and the way the race flows in this game. That corner, that love like second like second to last corner always seems to be so tight. Sorry, third last corner because I can't mean, technically you could say that the, the half pipe looked like the, the turn back on itself there. And it is like a hairpin turn, so it's of course it's probably gonna be the one of the toughest ones. Oh my god, I nearly got sniped by that. Oh, I hit the fence. I think that none hit the fence, and either that or lost the timing capability somehow. So uh, this is one of my favorite tracks. Like, if I did time trials, this is one of my favorite tracks to, to race on. Oh, come on! This is just... No! <laughs> oh my god, I nearly got stuck by a fucking green shell again! I think it used to be a double box in the, in the, the Ring of Fire. Okay, another 60 point uh, game right there. I think it's fifth of the Let's Play, I think, if memory serves me right. Look at that. <laughs> Peach, Big Mario, Mario. <laughs> Time to Jewels on top of the uh, banana peel on the trophy. It's it's like a a weird design choice. I like it, but I think it has bling on it. But 
This is a bit bit of a weird design. It's one I never really got because they they also had that in uh, in DS as well. So I don't know why. Now we play as Luigi, and we get the Wild Wing, which I, I consider to be probably the one of the best uh, standard cards we have in the game. Now we go to the Leaf Cup. It's got some, uh, some. There's some good tracks in it as well. So we have DS Desert Hills. So uh, this is one that I kind of expected that was going to make it because, um, well, it's it's a bit weird because you got this track in here. But you've also got a new track in Jojo Ruins, so you've get, technically got two desert tracks in the game. This is one of the tracks from DS that I kind of expected that was going to make it in some form or fashion, because I remember this, this track a lot. Of course it was a uh, Flower Cup uh, track in DS. And like the design is very, very simple, but I, I, like the, I like the music and that sort of thing. Now Luigi's like one of my favourite characters to play as. Of course, in a lot of games, Smash Bros. Brawl included in that as well. Of course, the power block, you lose your item as well, no matter how, how much you might shake your controller to uh, avoid it, you will lose the item that you have in the box. Then I threw that back in then. So yes, you have fire snakes. If you used to be able to drive this fast enough, you could see the, uh, the, the... You could see the angry sun in the background, like, drop the fire snakes. Um, on the track, especially if you were driving fast enough on the DS and you drive over this part, you'd see it just go by, because <laughs> it drops it in set uh, sections of the track. So all the places there are fire snakes, and it drops it right there. Like, I don't mind the power block, I, I think that if there is a re an item that's going to return, well, okay, I I'd say Mega Mushroom is also another good one, um, but I think the power block should possibly come back if it's an item that needs to return at some stage. I'd rather that than the Thunder Cloud. I think the Thunder Cloud, in a sense, is not an item, it is a punishment for getting items in the game, which is counterintuitive to how Mario Kart, in terms of like normal play, because I know that like some competitive players can play without items and just do really well. Oh my god, how many power blocks are in this, uh, in this race? There's been like four or five, right? I don't know how I avoided that fire snake. <laughs> But like, people can play without the, there you go, you see the, the angry sun in the background there. <laughs> but it was like, a flat, angry sun in, uh, in DS, so you could tell where it was coming from. <laughs> but uh, I think that getting items in the game is, is a main purpose, main purpose of playing Mario Kart.